Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're continuing with the A to Z series with the Assassin City. Now they have a generic focus tree, but we're going to go with Origin of the Gang. Formed in blood and gore most of the time, Raider gangs certainly aren't always alike. What were we before we formed? Old War criminals running the gauntlet long before everyone else did. Former travels taking up arms for profit and fun or vault dwellers broken by experiments and wanting nothing more than to make the wasteland suffer. And we're going to play 4.0, but Origins of the Gang. Man, everyone's got a bloody good story, every half pent gang or wannabe conquerors. So between you and me, we're the real deal, the realest deal. Before we were raiders, we were the real deal now. Well, heck. No, no, no one's got it made like us. We're old world criminals being at it longer than anyone else. We used to be the highest or the biggest, baddest tribe. All the luxury of a vault, but with more bad assery. That one. Gang lifestyle. Uh, be it killing and maiming, pillaging and road raiding, or riding, and even civil chem deals, every gang is, is a shtick. And us is no different, though obviously we're going to go much farther than some two-bit camp pushers. Gang ambitions. We're not going to stay on the back burner forever, it's time to go big and take what should be ours. Weaklings and idiots surround us, why not be simply take what we want? We'll do whatever we want to them, we're raiders and nobody F's with us. What kind of gang? Well, that, what do you mean, what, what kind? You know who we are and you know what we do, and we do what, what we do the best. No one rivals us and anyone that wants to do wants to is in for the beating of a lifetime. We rule the roads, loudest, fastest hogs out there. We're raiders, loot, kill, pillage, repeat. What more do you need? We got your fakes, every kind of fakes, top quality stuff. Oh, we're drug runners. You bet we're drug runners. Um, we have gang ambition, and then we can do starting the flow. It's not bad. Uh, doped raiders, incorporating slavers, improving the heartland, which would be bad at basic leadership. Or new leadership. Let's do that one first. It's time to shake it up the gang. More and more, the boys begin to whisper, and anyone calls their. can tell the air is thick enough to cut it with a knife. Whatever happened, it'll happen as a bloodbath. Which is not bad. Um, I think right now we're. Uh, rulers, and I'm kind of okay with that, even though I would like Holly Wonder for more political power. I'll still probably get Shock Broker, um, but with that one, you also still get more compliance, which is very good for Pepper Mean, but gang ambitions. You want to know about the future? I'll tell you about our effing future. Bang the top. We're going to the top. We got big plans, big freaking plans. Boss knows what's on up and on the up and up. Trust me. 20 years from now, we'll rule this freaking way of sense. So are you in? You want to slice the pie scab? We're taking slaves. Good money, good trade. No downside. The other pissing gangs, they don't respect us yet. Same plans as always, we're going to take what we need from whoever. Which is actually pretty good, but I want to get more political power first, so we'll do new leadership, and like I said, we're going to go with the ruler path for this one. The boss, political power, uh, better division attrition, and factory output. The grunts um, honestly look a little better. Eggheads, it's not, it's okay. The sadists, ooh, ooh, more population, that'd be pretty good to do, especially since we're in Texas, but whatever. Um, we'll probably do the boss. As whispers spread, and people look more and more crap shifty. The boss is beginning to think that maybe the worms don't know their place. A good being would probably take care of that. Otherwise, some brain spread on the wall will do just as well. Don't question the boss. Even in the middle of punching a traitor, having tried to stab him in the back, the boy's mind, or the boss's mind, wondered deep questions. Would it really work like this? Maybe bribing them would be better. But as he felt something wet splash on his face, namely bits of bone and blood from the caved in face he was bashing, he realized that the boss is perfectly good as well. And they aren't great. A few executions here, a few maimings there, and some particularly violent killings with impressive stuff such as grenades or shotguns or viola. Or voila. His gang was entirely obedient to him again. It was almost boring. Everyone quickly got back to work even harder than before, and he got back on his throne of metal and skulls. Exactly as it should be, and proving the heartland. Getting control of more and more territory instead of reach should definitely let us grow faster. Taking over factories and proceeding to a few executions should bring the most people in the And army. here we are at, everybody, in which we are up against the good old... Desperados, as we're currently doing Iron Grip, of course, which we just read a little bit earlier. Um, I really want to get another research slot. That'd be really nice. Um, Manifest Destiny wouldn't be bad either. Of course, we could be starting the flow. So that's stuff I do want to do here. Raid attack rate bonus. 10%. Eh, it's all right. Victory hits. That's not bad, too. That's pretty good. Uh, dope Raiders, which is not bad. Oh, my population, that's pretty good, actually. Military leader cost goes down. Recruit them young. I guess we like them young on this channel. Uh, overall, not bad, but I think I want to go and get that research slot. So, incorporating slavers. Yeah, they kind of bum some out of the bo some of the boys out with all the wailing and pleading and such, but slaves are so useful, we can't really go without them. You can make them do pretty much anything, and that includes making them think if they'll last more than five seconds on the front line, they'll be free. So, uh, we're doing all right. They don't have ten of divisions, which is actually kind of nice. Um, but they are a challenge, we'll say. And also, we did get Arena Injury, which is alright. A dude here. Could be inspirational if you can. That'd be great right now. Um, yeah. We'll see. We will definitely see. 
Hmm. If we can break through here quickly enough, because we're using a lot of roller skate divisions, which I've never actually used before, so it's kind of interesting using them. It's only 100 extra manpower. Jesus, it's not good. Oh wait, just oh they, oh oh they went to war them too. Do we have? Uh, have we? Oh, do they have a claim on both? They do. That's not good. Uh, there's no way we can hold against the Texan Brotherhood here. If we take everything, we might be able to take these two tiles, maybe? Maybe not? Um, slave labor? Organizing massive slave recruitment and putting them to work on construction? Genius. Okay, some of them might lose an arm or two from time to time, but you can't doubt that brothel just got built way faster than usual. Cool. Extra cannon. If they if we're able to take that, Texas might just go to war with us too, which wouldn't be oh god. Which wouldn't be a good thing, of course, but still, oh god. It's screwing up now. Oh no. Oh Beloved Leader. That's pretty good actually. Uh go beloved leader, and then you get some melee hacker as well. Hey, we took it. We took it, so we should we deserve it, right? Oh, I'm probably gonna regret this. Oh, they're allied with it. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do some funky stuff so we don't die here. So, yeah. I'm going to do some real funky stuff. This is not going to be good for us, is it? Yeah, Assassin City. Not going to be easy to play. Because right now, these guys are all together. That's really bad. That's extremely bad. Um, I'm going to try to go this way. I just want to take as much territory as possible because... We're not going to survive unless we expand. So, yeah. And if we go here, then the only way the Texan brother can really beat us up is if they try to go over the river. So, hopefully they don't try to come kill us. But if they do, we're going to do... I have to use cons commands. Um, yeah, slave labor, of course. Uh, forced labor. You have to be smart when you lose slaves. Push them around hard enough to have very good results, but not quite enough to kill or maim them. That takes a certain degree of skill, and which is with what better training for our slave masters. We can make them work under the harsh desert sun on roads. Um, and enslaving scientists. Listen, you see those big brains there? Well, yeah, they don't look like much, but maybe, just maybe. We could actually give us better shooties and such. I would just make them work for us. Watch them close and see how fast they make explosives when you have a gun pointed at them. Horse part would be okay. Infrastructure would be okay as well. Oh, crap. Yeah. We're going to do some funk stuff here. Because um, they will come for us, I think, eventually. If we stay here, there's not much we can really do. And we need as much of this as possible, so... Is this even worth fighting for? Because I want to keep it. Because we can defend there, we can defend there, we might be able to defend here too. Oh no, with all that extra. Mm. Yeah, that's not going to be good. We could always try to go to war with Choctaw Nation too. Mm. They have a long time. I might just use Consequence to tell them to stop trying to declare war on us, so we'll see. Uh, Start of the flow. Nah, pass gas income. Putting skulls on sticks. You know, you could think scaring people was easy, but now nah, you gotta think about it. Instead of just putting random body parts on sticks and spraying crude messages everywhere, our boys have found out it's far more effective to put a dedicated human skull still having all its skin. Terrorizing the locals. Sometimes you have to take care of simple matters. Turn some locals, burn down some stuff in the distance, holler at them while flying in the air. That should come anyone wanting to be a hero. That will also certainly relieve some stress on our boys while we wait for the next raid. Uh, Raider headquarters. What we need is a huge fortress, something that will immediately make a rival gang cower. We'll have huge walls, entire rooms dedicated to weapon production, lots of slaves to build even bigger and better. It's going to be awesome. And that's not bad. Just the world times, we might need that. As we give more and more loot to our troops, they certainly will have a liking in the lifestyle. Combine that with reminding them what generally happens to raiders caught by actual nations, and that'll make them fight all the harder to keep this kind of well, life. Well, I totally didn't use Khan's commands to make sure that the Western or the, the, the Texan Brotherhood justified on the, the, the Houston Rockets instead of us. Totally didn't have them do that. Totally not going to cause later issues for us as well, you know. Totally not, as we're going to attack them too, and try to take out Louisiana as much as we can. I think a good goal for us would be just to take out the Texas Brotherhood. It's going to take forever, but, you know, whatever. Also, with Tuffy here, Tuffy's doing all right. Um, uh, we have to throw the modifier here. We get minus 15% defense, but get 10% more attack and more speed, so it's kind of a give and take. As we just enslave a couple scientists here and there, sleep researchers, yeah, that's all right. We're going to be putting skulls on sticks for now. It seems like we can hold that area, which is decent. But at least we have four research slots now, thank God. Jeez, that's really bad. Um, losses 140 versus 19, that's pretty good. 
Let them keep attacking us. One to two thousand map is pretty decent. We're not sure what they really have though. And overall, yeah, not bad. Promises of loot. I don't want to hurt our organization, but worst part would be, would be pretty nice. We're doing all right here still. I did grab Myrtle Injury for five percent more population, which is gonna be super crucial. Let's more attack. Let's recovery rate. More breakthrough. That's pretty nice. Settlement builder. Uh, civilian factory speed. Or industrialist. It's not bad. Motorized vehicle stuff. Camp pusher. Elites. Intellectuals. Intellectuals. Just by Warbles time, huh? On us, which doesn't really help us out. You get you lose the organization before more war support, that's not really worth it. And you lose max planning too, that's not worth it. Supply consumption goes down, that's not bad. Uh, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, I don't want to increase our manpower too much. To the core territory, resistance growth, speed, interstates occupied by the enemy. Oh, just five world goes times, that'd be... Yeah, I gotta go with that one. Seven, is it dropping harder? Or is it just because they're attacking quite a bit? 55... Oh, well, not bad. Two suns. Oh, that force the attack, son. Also, because we're using rollers, because I want to use exclusively the rollers, I want this, but none of these perks let us improve our roller divisions, or roller girls, which kind of sucks, not going to lie. So, yeah. Um, this type of terrain is what? Plains, plains, jungle, 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 a lot of jungle. Quite a few planes, of course, it is kind of Texas area, so. Planes might be our best safe bet to do that. Um, slash melee. Uh, let's see. Still doing okay here, still doing okay here. Not bad, not bad. Um, so, planes. Training carefully, lightly. Is that planes? It is planes. There you go. Should help us out at least a little bit more, that'd be great. Putting skulls on sticks, you bet we do, terrorizing the locals. <sighs> One of our favorite pastimes. What else we got here? Raider headquarters, of course. Our territorial loyalties. Old World Blues, that kind of sucks. Uh, Manifest Destiny, yeah, that one would be really good. Um, look around, we're surrounded by morons. They're so weak too. They barely have anything on them. We don't, they don't even know how to lift a rifle. Why are we scared of them again? Their land, their loot, their cities, they should be ours. No, we'll make them ours by force. And we never die. Well, I mean, except when we do, but you know what I mean. The gang never dies. I mean, there's just so much pillaging and looting and shooting. How could it ever? We'll keep getting more boys, we'll keep getting more recruits, and thus we'll keep getting more loot. What's not to love? But yeah, losses include nine, about 100 versus 900, which is actually pretty good for us. Especially since we're defending, since we have a lack of manpower. Or I guess, I guess, a lack of uh, defense. Oh, they look up some guns. Once they run out of guns, it'll be good. Once they run out of manpower, too, it'll be very good as well. So, we'll let them do their stuff. I'm not super concerned. Living conditions, more stability. Yeah, we can use more stability. Starting to flow. We've recently been a bit short on sauce. Everyone knows sauce makes the world go round, but we don't got the caps again. Hello, talk my listen to the tap. Dope Raiders. We got hands on something called Super Jet. While nobody has an idea of where it comes from, it makes boys mad as heck. Just pump them full of stuff and leash them on the enemy. Just make sure to wait a while after for the, for the withdrawal to kick in and don't mind the body parts. Lightning raids? We're in and out before they even know what hit, happened. Uh, that's how it goes, boys. We go on fast, hard, take their loot, take their save, and take their lives. Proven yourself. If you want a leader, boys, you better, you better prove you can. While that generally means you beat someone to death with his own arm, tactical, sound tactical choices are also acceptable, I guess. And I guess we'll go here too. Slave researchers. Supplementing our scientists so forcibly recruited engineers should make them work that much faster. And result even more cool stuff for us to play with. Just imagine, you could even maybe have a handgun that doesn't explode in your face.
The return to Dallas, Mr. Entertainment Strange as he is, approaches with the offer of a deal. He told us that the Brotherhood that was tired of our raid and was thinking about outright declaring war. Then Tuffy asked him why we, he warned us of such a thing. Being their broadcaster and all, he just answered that he likes our style. In terms of the deal that we see all raiding and are integrated in the Texans Economic Union. But exchanged only do we gain back control of Dallas Stadium, we get to broadcast our matches live on air. Live on air, you say. I like to see that brother try. Now, I don't mind doing this one, but what if we actually did join him? We joined the Texas Economic Union. My only problem is that what happens when these guys form? Do they integrate us? Because if not, because if they do that, I definitely do not want to join them. So, also we are doing okay here. We've lost about 600, and they've lost about 3,500 to us, so we'll see. Uh, we're also justifying the patrolmen, but you know, whatever it is, but it is. Uh, and in the end, we're taking all the territory. They can go pound sand, for all I care. Raiders, you bet I am. Trial plane attackers, you bet. Loopba. Ah, I'm going to go to war with patrolmen next. Which will be a great glorious thing. Keep them in place for now. What else we got around here? Because I do want to integrate these territories too, so. Um, yeah. 119, just need a little more political power. Get 12,000 and a quarter more manpower. Or core population, I should really say. That'd be nice for manpower, but whatever. It gets a couple more factories. Awesome, just in time to do this too. And do this as well. 40 days, that's pretty good actually. Let's get her guys on the line. I'm gonna get a wee bit of that entrenchment. She's not very good in defense, but she's pretty experienced, not gonna lie. 1.4, not bad. And let's go ahead and go on in. There doesn't seem like they really want to attack us. Go on the other side of skate equipment. Uh, what do you mean you don't know what you want? Um, okay, well, whatever. Cast support. That would be very nice. Uh, we will need anti tank on these guys, though. How much anti tank do we have? Uh, new technology, that's okay. I don't want to do this, but we need that too. Some support equipment. Anti tank definitely for next. And just to fly on these guys. Can we actually push through these guys? I kind of don't believe it, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. These guys are 12. And they are mobile. So we're going to keep skating. And throw on some of this too. So they look extra weak now, but whatever. Um. Hmm. I like to attack where they don't have a lot of armor, but they got a lot of armor everywhere. So I don't know really conduct it for us. You guys do that? You can't really pierce them, which sucks, whatever. Alright, let's kind of hang out then. So, we could call them in. And, uh, by them, I mean, you know, Texan Brotherhood, but... Why don't we take some time to do this? Huh. Because we core more stuff faster, I mean that'd be really nice. Look workspaces, of course. Nice. I mean we might be able to do something here, maybe? Maybe not. There's only three of them. We still have no piercing. They are in trench as well, so. I don't know. I'm gonna have to deal with this a whole Bunch. To our best. Yeah, maybe not fire teams, but demo teams. We do have enough equipment. And once slow is down, we're at six uh, combat speeds. Oh, thanks for the equipment. It's kind of nice having friends, huh? Who would have thought? Send these guys over just a little bit. There you go. What, what do you mean, cancel and lease? Bruh. Let's 
Nice. What if you were here to just keep them in place? And expand down and around, just in case. I'm free to just cut them off if possible. Or just call everyone in and say screw it. But I think that would be all right. And unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time for this recording, but I think I got ended here. And I'll take these guys out. I might even take out the cannery. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we continue with being part of the Texas Economic Union. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.